25% of our students are first generation, the first in their families to attend college. And many more face great obstacles to pursuing a college degree. There could be reasons such as finances, family situation, or geographic location. Access to higher education is personal for me. I was raised in a small town in the middle of coal mining country in eastern Kentucky. I understand firsthand what happens to a community and its youth when higher education seems unattainable. The generous support of donors like you is critically important to helping these students realize that their dreams of a better life through education are possible. We often talk proudly about Texas A&M and its history as a land-grant institution. We were established to provide access to education for the working people. And because of the land-grant universities like Texas A&M, first-generation college students have been given access to higher education in unprecedented numbers. I've served in my role for six years now, and it's been a remarkable adventure. I've gained an Aggie son, an Aggie son-in-law, an Aggie soon-to-be daughter-in-law, and a little bit of a Texas draw. <laughs> I've particularly enjoyed meeting with former students and learning about how Texas A&M changed your life. You've told me stories about arriving on campus with little knowledge about what to expect, Yet, through challenges faced over the years on this campus and with the support of your fellow Aggies, you succeeded. And the message that I've taken home is, remember who we are. Why is this message so important? Because too often in universities today, we're caught up in the game of competition. We focus on rankings, trendy programs, recruiting the elusive best student, without taking the crucial step of evaluating whether our initiatives are in sync with who we are. In doing so, we risk losing that which makes us unique, our collective Aggie spirit. One of the most moving events in my time as Dean was a special graduation ceremony. In March of 2016, we were contacted with an urgent request from Nick Brewer. Sadly, Nick's father, Jim, class of 1980 in civil engineering, was ill with pancreatic cancer. Jim's daughter, Jenny, was scheduled to graduate in May with an aerospace engineering degree. One of Jim's last wishes was to see Jenny graduate from Texas A&M Engineering. But Jim was not doing well in mid-March. Nick called and asked if we could hold a special graduation ceremony for Jenny. Only one week later, with the help of the university and the association, Jim witnessed Jenny's graduation from Texas A&M in full regalia with a ceremony in his home in Austin. Jim lost his battle with cancer two weeks later. As we were preparing for that ceremony, there were no arguments about process or proper approvals or transcripts. We made it happen. We remembered who we are. The approach of action when needed also applies to our academic mission. The past six years have been a period of significant academic change. But before any new program was implemented, we first evaluated whether it aligned with our core values. This meant at times we did not follow the traditional path. We forged a new path. When the nation needed more engineers, we grew. When students needed faculty with real world experience, we hired. When industry needed engineers with both technical and interpersonal skills, we responded. These kinds of changes are not embraced by all universities. When asked by my peers about the risk of not following other top universities, I reply, Aggies are not followers, we lead. Aggies have a history of service. We stand up when others fall back. We provide an excellent education and opportunity to those who seek it. And we continue to face new challenges. Most of the jobs in 2030 haven't even been invented yet. How do you prepare a student for a job that doesn't exist? How do we focus on deep learning without stifling creativity? 
How do we select students with high potential from both urban and rural areas, with talent and grit who embrace our core values? How do we remain custodians of the past while serving as creators of the future? These solutions will be complicated and will require all of us to find proper balance. But I promise you, when we move into the future with all the unknowns in our changing world, as we face the challenges of educating a next generation of students, and as we consider how to best serve our state and the nation, we will always remember who we are. We are Aggies. Thank you.